So then we hit a downward spiral. And the spiral goes like this. The harder and harder we try, the more and more confused we get. Nobody told our brain not to do words in 3D. So we were brilliant at pictures, which is why we're so creative. And, but we weren't meant to be doing this with words, and we never even thought of that. You get some very debilitating symptoms if you can't do uh, literacy. And some people even develop things that they describe as brain fog. They're really so confused they can't do anything. And then we diagnose multiple learning difficulties. So who do you know with people like Freddie? They got a whole list of symptoms which people are seeing every day in school. And they've got a whole list of skills. So let's just go through them. The symptoms are distraction, can't sit still, exhausted, probably quite wobbly, avoid, lots of them avoid sport, um, mounting confusion, they may even have health challenges, certainly got poor behaviour, can't concentrate, they've got the brain fog, they've got fabulous creative brains but at the same time they think I'm stupid because they're focusing on the things they can't do and so are their teachers. Then they get low self-esteem which leads into all sorts of other stuff and then they get disinterested in learning and probably disconnected from learning. That's the typical Freddie. At the same time, over on the exceptional skills side, he's got, he's very creative, talks incessantly, amazing visual memory, can remember things from years ago that other people can't remember, and great at diversion tactics. He's learnt amazing skills to avoid doing the things he doesn't like doing. And he doesn't realise what's even going on. Almost every person I've ever worked with who has letters moving on the page has not a clue that other people don't. They just think it's normal. And you can teach people to stop letters moving on the page really, really quickly. It's all about stress. So what does Freddie cost? My guess is something like about £10,000 a year for at least five years of his school life. That is an awful lot of money. He gets special support. He probably gets an, an, one or more analysis from an educational psychologist. He may have tried special tinted glasses. He may have spent time in the head teacher's office with poor behaviour and possibly suspension and all the ongoing support that goes with that. He may have had extra school consultations. He may have caused his whole family major stress and he may have had to have medication and special diet. We've added this up for some of my clients and it comes to this sort of figure quite often for the severe cases.